Glottochronology is that part of lexicostatistics dealing with the chronological relationship between languages. The idea was developed by Morris Swadesh under two assumptions. First, that there exists a relatively stable, basic vocabulary in all languages of the world. And second, that any replacements happen in a way analogical to that in radioactive decay in constant percentages per time elapsed. Meanwhile, there exist many different methods, partly extensions of the Swadesh method, now more and more under the biological assumptions of replacements in genes. However, Swadesh's technique is so well known that, for many people, glottochronology refers to it alone. Methodology Wordless The original method presumed that the core vocabulary of a language is replaced at a constant rate across all languages and cultures and can therefore be used to measure the passage of time. The process makes use of a list of lexical terms. Lists were compiled by Morris Swadesh and assumed to be resistant against borrowing is much more common among modern-day linguists. This core vocabulary was designed to encompass concepts common to every human language, eliminating concepts that are specific to a particular culture or time. It has been found that this ideal is not in fact possible and that the meaning set may need to be tailored to the languages being compared. Many alternative word lists have been compiled by other linguists, often using fewer meaning slots. The percentage of cognates in these word lists is then measured. The larger the percentage of cognates, the more recently the two languages being compared are presumed to have separated. Glottochronologic constant Robert Lees obtained a value for the glottochronological constant of words by considering the known changes in 13 pairs of languages using the 200-word list. He obtained a value of 0.805 plus or minus 0.0176 with 90% confidence. For the 100-word list Swadesh obtained a value of 0.86, the higher value reflecting the elimination of semantically unstable words. This constant may be related to the retention rate of words by where L is the rate of replacement, lane is the logarithm to base E, and R is the glottochronological constant divergence time. The basic formula of glottochronology in its shortest form is where T equals a given period of time from one stage of the language to another. C equals proportion of word list items retained at the end of that period, and L equals rate of replacement for that word list. By testing historically verifiable cases where we have knowledge of T through non-linguistic data, Swadesh arrived at the empirical value of approximately 0.14 for L. Results glottochronology was found to work in the case of Indo-European, accounting for 87% of the variance. It is also postulated to work for Hamito-Semitic, Chinese and Amerind. For the latter, correlations have been obtained with radiocarbon dating and blood groups, as well as archaeology. Note that the approach of Bray and Atkinson, as they say, has nothing to do with glottochronology. Discussion The concept of language change is old and its history is reviewed in Himes and Wells. Glottochronology itself dates back to the mid-20th century. An introduction to the subject is given in Embleton and in McMahon and McMahon. Glottochronology has been controversial ever since, partly owing to issues of accuracy, as well as the question of whether its basis is sound. These concerns have been addressed by Dobson et al., Dine and Kruskal, Dine and Black. The assumption of a single word replacement rate can distort the divergence time estimate when borrowed words are included. Creation purported to disprove the mathematics of the Swadesh model. At a conference at Yale in 1971 his criticisms were shown to be invalid. See the published proceedings under Dine the same conference saw the application of the theory to Creole language. An overview of recent arguments can be obtained from the papers of a conference held at the MacDonald Institute in 2000. These presentations vary from why linguists don't do dates to the one by Starstein discussed above. Since its original inception, glottochronology has been rejected by many linguists. 
mostly Indo-European as to the school of the traditional comparative method. Criticisms have been answered in particular around three points of discussion. Criticism leveled against the highest ability of lexemes in Swadesh lists alone misses the point, because a certain amount of losses only enables the computations. Traditional glottochronology did presume that language changes at a stable rate. Thus, in Berg's Linen Vote, the authors make an impressive demonstration, on the basis of actual language data verifiable by extra-linguistic sources, that the rate of change for Icelandic constituted around 4% per millennium, whereas for closely connected Riksmal it would amount to as much as 20%. This and several other similar examples effectively proved that Swadesh's formula would not work on all available material, a serious accusation, considering that evidence that can be used to calibrate the meaning of L is not overwhelmingly large in the first place. It is highly likely that the chance of replacement is in fact different for every word or feature. This global assumption has been modified and downgraded to single words even in single languages in many newer attempts. A serious argument is that language change arises from socio-historical events which are of course unforeseeable and therefore uncomputable. New methods developed by Gray and Atkinson are claimed to avoid these issues, but are still seen as controversial, primarily since they often produce results that are incompatible with known data and because of additional methodological issues. Modified glottochronology Somewhere in between the original concept of Swadesh and the rejection of glottochronology in its entirety lies the idea that glottochronology as a formal method of linguistic analysis becomes valid with the help of several important modifications. Thus, inhomogeneities in the replacement rate were dealt with by van der Merwe by splitting the word list into classes each with their own rate while Dine, James and Cole allowed each meaning to have its own rate. Simultaneous estimation of divergence time and replacement rate was studied by Kruskal, Dine and Black. Brayenard allowed for chance cognition and drift effects was introduced by Gleason. Sankoff suggested introducing a borrowing parameter and allowed synonyms. A combination of these various improvements is given in Sankoff's fully parameterized lexicostatistics. In 1972 Sankoff in a biological context developed a model of genetic divergence of populations. Embleton derives a simplified version of this in a linguistic context. She carries out a number of simulations using this which are shown to give good results. Improvements in statistical methodology related to a completely different branch of science, changes in DNA over time, have sparked a recent, renewed interest. These methods are more robust than the earlier ones because they calibrate points on the tree with known historical events and smooth the rates of change across these. As such, they no longer require the assumption of a constant rate of change. Stair Austin's method Another attempt to introduce such modifications was performed by the Russian linguist Sergei Starstein, who had proposed that systematic loanwords borrowed from one language into another are a disruptive factor and have to be eliminated from the calculations. The one thing that really matters is that native replacement of items by items from the same language. The failure to notice this factor was a major reason in Swadesh's original estimation of the replacement rate at under 14 words from the 100-word list, per millennium, when the real rate is, in fact, much slower. Introducing this correction effectively cancels out the Berg's linen vote argument. Since a thorough analysis of the Rixmal data shows that its basic word list includes about 15-16 borrowings from other Germanic languages, exclusion of these elements from the calculations brings the rate down to the expected rate of 5-6 to six native replacements per millennium. The rate of change is not really constant, but actually depends on the time period during which the word has existed in the language. Individual items on the 100-word list have different stability rates. The resulting formula, taking into account both the time dependence and the individual stability quotients, looks as follows. 
In this formula, minus LC reflects the gradual slowing down of the replacement process due to different individual rates, whereas the square root represents the reverse trend, acceleration of replacement as items in the original word list age and become more prone to shifting their meaning. The formula is obviously more complicated than Swadesh's original one, but, as shown in Sterosten's work, yields more credible results than the former. On the other hand, it shows that glotter chronology can really only be used as a serious scientific tool on language families the historical phonology of which has been meticulously elaborated. Time depth estimation The problem of time depth estimation was the subject of a conference held by the Macdonald Institute in 2000. The published papers give an idea of the views on glotter chronology at the time. These vary from why linguists don't do dates to the one by Starstein discussed above. Note that in the referenced Bray and Atkinson paper, they hold that their methods cannot be called glotter chronology by confining this term to its original method, bibliography. Und, Walter W. The performance of glotter chronology in Germanic language, 35, 180 to 192. Bergsland, Knut, and Vogt, Hans, on the validity of glottochronology, current anthropology, 3, 115-153, Brainerd, Barron, a stochastic process related to language change, Journal of Applied Probability 7, 69-78, Callahan, Catherine A., Yushin and the Swadesh List, in J. E. Redden, Papiers for the American Indian Language Conference, held at the University of California, Santa Cruz, July and August, 1991. Occasional Papers on Linguistics, Carbondale, Department of Linguistics, Southern Illinois University. Campbell, Lyle, Historical Linguistics, An Introduction, Chapter 6.5, Edinburgh, Edinburgh University Press, ISBN 0-7486-0775-7, Cretien, Douglas, The Mathematical Models of Glottochronology, Language 38, 11-37, Crowley, Terry, An Introduction to Historical Linguistics, 3rd ed., Auckland, Oxford Univ. Press, pp. 171-193, Dine, Isidore, A Lexicostatistical Classification of the Austronesian Languages, International Journal of American Linguistics, Memoir 19, Gray, R.D., and Atkinson, Q.D., Language Tree Divergence Times Support the Anatolian Theory of Indo-European Origin, Nature 426-435-439, Goodschinski, Sarah, The ABCs of Lexicostatistics, Word, 12, 175-210. Harmon, Harold. Basic Vocabulary and Language Contacts, The Dissolution of Glottochronology, in Indogamanische Forschung and 95-7 FF, Hockett, Charles F., A Course in Modern Linguistics, New York, Macmillan, Hollier, Harry, Lexicostatistics, A Critique, Language, 32, 49-60. Home, Hans J. The Proportionality Trap, or, What is Wrong with Lexicostatistical Subgrouping, in Dogamanische Forschungen, 108, 38-46. Home, Hans J. Genealogische Verwandtschaft, Cap. 45 in Quantitative Linguistic, Ein Internationales Handbuch. Herausgegeben von Arcola, Altman, Piotrowski, Berlin. Walter de Gruyter, Home, Hans J., The New Arboretum of Indo-European Trees, Can New Algorithms Reveal the Phylogeny and Even Prehistory of IE, Journal of Quantitative Linguistics 14-2 to 167-214, Himes, Del H., Lexicostatistics So Far, Current Anthropology, 1, 3 to 44, McCorter, John, The Power of Babel, New York, 
Freeman. ISBN 978-0-7167-4473-3. Nettle, Daniel. Linguistic diversity of the Americas can be reconciled with a recent colonization. In PNAS 96-3325-9. Sankoff, David. On the Rate of Replacement of Word Meaning Relationships, Language 46.564-569, Sjoberg, Indri, and Sjoberg, Gideon, Problems in Glottochronology, American Anthropologist, 58, 296-308, Starstein, Sergey, Methodology of Long-Range Comparison, 2002, PDF. Thomason, Sarah Gray, and Kaufman, Terence, Language Contact, Creolization, and Genetic Linguistics, Berkeley, University of California Press, Tischler, Johan, 1973, Glottochronology und Lexikostatistik, Innsbrucker Beatrice zur Sprachwissenschaft 11, Innsbruck, Whitman, Henry, a Lexicostatistic Inquiry into the Diachrony of Hittite, Endogamanische Forschung and 74.1-10. Whitman, Henry. The Lexicostatistical Classification of the French-Based Creole Languages, Lexicostatistics in Genetic Linguistics. Proceedings of the Yale Conference, April 3-4, 1971, D.I.R. Isidore Dine, 89-99, La Haye, Mouton, Zipf, George K. The Psychobiology of Language, An Introduction to Dynamic Philology, Cambridge, Massachusetts, MIT Press.